news in college basketball this week as Iowa's Caitlin Clark has announced officially she's turning pro. She is 18 points away from passing Pete Maravich's all-time NCAA scoring record for men's or women's. She posted on social media she will leave the Hawkeyes after this season and enter the WNBA draft. The Indiana Fever have the first pick indicating on their social media they will pick Clark. Would be crazy not to so the LA Sparks will be on the clock and while she is just 18 points away from passing Pete Maravich's Division One scoring record still plenty more she can catch this season and most notably Kelsey Plum's single season scoring record that was set in 2016 2017. Now last year Caitlin Clark averaged just under 28 points per game and ended up fourth on that list. Now she's averaging over 32 points per game. With that we say hello to our basketball analyst Rebecca Lobo and Rebecca what do you make of the timing of Caitlin's announcement entering that she's uh, announcing rather that she's entering the WNBA draft. Well, Kelsey, I was out in Iowa City uh, interviewing uh, Caitlin Clark back at the end of October and kind of asked her what was going to go into her decision process. And one of the things she told me was that she was hoping to make the decision before senior day. And of course, Iowa's senior day is this Sunday. And, and I think any kid who knows what their decision is, it's a good idea to say it. And one of the reasons is now there's sort of that stress off of her. She and her teammates will no longer be asked and answering the question of what is Caitlin going to do next year? So she clearly knew what she wanted to do. And I, I love it because I've been through a senior day. It's a really emotional experience. It's a great time to kind of say thank you to the fans, and she will be able to fully immerse herself in that on Sunday. And you and the College Game Day crew will be there Sunday for that game with Ohio State. It's going to be a big one. It takes the pressure off when all the media we know in March uh, is going to be asking about what happens. Now they already know what her plans are. But Rebecca, as she moves closer to passing Pistol Pete's Division I scoring record, what's your perspective on what she's accomplished? It's pretty incredible, everything that she's been able to do at Iowa. And, you know, especially when you combine her scoring, and she is unmatched in the women's game in that category. And you also look at her assist numbers. She's sixth all-time in assists. This year, she's leading the nation in assists. So not only as a scorer and playmaker, but I look at Caitlin Clark as the best offensive player that we have seen in the history of the women's college game. And, and then everything else that encompasses what she is doing in terms of growing the game. Things we've never seen on the women's college side, not only selling out all her home games, but on the road as well. Every game she plays on a national network is the highest rated that that net network has ever seen. We haven't quite seen a phenomenon in terms of the attention that Caitlin Clark is getting in the women's college game as well. She's 18 points away from passing Pete Maravich's record for all time NCAA Division I scoring for men or women. She posted on social media. She is, in fact, leaving the Hawkeyes and declaring for the WNBA draft. The Indiana Fever have the first pick in this year's draft, but new on SportsCenter. Here's Caitlin Clark on what went into her big decision. I think just going into senior night, um, having that decision clear, not only for myself, but our fans, my teammates, um, I think that was super important and honestly just, I don't know, getting the weight of the world off my shoulders and being able to enjoy this last, these last couple, this last month uh, with my teammates I think is the biggest thing and, you know, I think I kind of knew in my heart. Honestly, like I would say, like I've gone honestly back and forth a little bit, especially early in the year and I think, you know, as the season kind of played out, it became more clear to me and I know I said at the beginning of the year, like I will definitely just kind of feel in my gut and know in my gut and I think that's exactly what happened. I kind of knew what was going to be the right step for me and obviously I had a lot of support system around me and my family, uh, my friends and, you know, talked to them and um, I think everybody supported my decision and that's obviously reassuring and uh, but I think that was the biggest thing honestly was just I felt it in my gut. I'm, I think I'm ready for the next kind of chapter in my life too. I think I've known for a little while honestly and I've had quite a few conversations with our coaching staff and they were always very supportive and helping me you know try to try to understand both sides and see both sides and um, I think especially over the last couple of weeks my decision has become more clear um, I would say and coming up much more on Caitlin Clark's decision to go pro next season Rebecca Lobo sharing her thoughts on the timing of Clark's announcement